Hi, I'm Neil Curtis from neilcurtis.me and this is another gravity form tutorial. So here we have a gravity form embedded into a post on a WordPress website and it has a form title of styling gravity forms and also the description is shown here and it says this form is created for styling purposes. And then we have two elements, two fields in this gravity form. The first is a single line text field and we're showing the field label or title then also the field input area, and then we've got the description of this field. And then we have a, another field, which is a radio button field, which has three field options, choices, and then we also have a description for this field here. And in this tutorial, we're gonna style the field label of these individual elements. So we're gonna style this part and this part in the gravity form. And to do this, we need to go into our dashboard on a WordPress website. So I'll open this in a new tab. And we go Appearance and Editor. And for this theme, which is the 2013 theme in WordPress, it opens up the CSS style sheet or the styles.css by default. And if it doesn't for you, it'll be down here in this list for you to select it. So let's go down to the very bottom of this and then we'll add in some code here to style those field labels. And to do this, we need to go body and then hash g form underscore wrapper. And then what we're doing here is we're targeting a specific individual form and this form has an ID of four. So I'll put four in here, underscore four. If your form is has an ID of one, it'll be underscore one. If it's an ID of 20, it'll be underscore 20. But in this particular example, in this tutorial, we have a form ID number four. If you wanted to target every single form on your website and not a specific individual form, you can do that, do a global formatting. And you just remove the ID part here. And instead of the hash, you put a dot. And in this case, it'll target every single form you do on your site. But we're not doing that. We're targeting, targeting this individual form with an idea for, and then we need to say dot g form underscore body and dot g form underscore field and dot g field. And then finally, what we're doing is we're specifying where this particular part that we need to format is among all these different divs. So it's in the wrapper div, and it's in the body, and it's in the fields, and it's in the field. And then finally, we're targeting the field label. So the final part is g field underscore label. Okay, so now we're saying we want to target the labels of these individual gravity form fields. And we put open and close curly brackets, and in between these, we're going to put our styling code. So we'll do some simple styling. We're not going to do anything complex, but I'll just add a border around them. So we want it to be two pixels, solid line, and we'll say green color. We'll save those changes. We'll update this file. Go to our form and refresh the page. You'll see there, let's put a green line around these fields. We'll just do something else really quickly. We'll add some padding around these words just to spread them out make the border not so tight around the edges of the letters so let's go back to our css styling css styling and we'll say padding of 20 pixels this is an example of course you can do a lot more complex stuff or or nicer stuff with css but we're just showing you how to target these fields so now if we refresh our form let's see We've got some padding around it. So there you go, just a very quick tutorial showing you how to target and then format the individual field labels or field titles in Gravity Forms. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel so you get updates as soon as I've got new videos ready for you. And also head over to my website, which is www.neilcurtis.me, where I have lots more guys tutorials about Gravity Forms and WordPress and other web design things.